Hi, I'm Chaya from Cinco Ranch Branch Library. Um, in today's tutorial, we are going to see how to make personalized invitation cards using pre-made templates in Publisher 2010. Want something that had to be ordered or bought from a stationery shop? Stylish invitations can now be easily created using this powerful desktop publishing program. Publisher lets you produce invitations and other publications using either its default templates or your own designs. Let's go ahead and open Publisher 2010 and get familiar with its interface. It has many of the same features as other Microsoft Office programs. However, it does include some features that are specifically designed for creating publications. At the very top is the ribbon, which is right here. The ribbon contains multiple tabs, the Home tab, Insert tab, Page Design, Mailings, Review, and View are default tabs. A couple of new tabs open up right next to the View tab when objects are inserted inside our publications. The Text Box Tools tab and the Picture Tools tab are extremely useful in personalizing our publications. By clicking the File tab, we can get to the Backstage view. Here you can see options to save your publication, to open or close a publication that you're currently working on, to print your final project, or if you are ready to start a brand new publication, all you have to do is select New to see what templates are available for you. Let's go ahead and select New. As you can see, there are several pre-built templates here. Invitation designs are grouped according to the type of event the invitation is for. There are also blank sizes if you do not want to use a template. You may highlight on any of these designs to see a larger version of it. Let's go and select invitation cards to see what templates are available for us in this category. As you can see here, there's several templates that are available in the category of invitations. For today's tutorial, let's go ahead and select this template to create a birthday party invitation. We will click on the download button to download this pre-made template. Here you can see that the card is already designed for us. However, every aspect of the design on this card can be changed to personalize this invitation. On the left side, you can see that there are two pages that we have to be working on. Page 1 shows the front side of the card, while page 2 shows the back side of the card. Another important aspect of Publisher is the use of text boxes. In other words, any text or image or object that is inserted inside the publication is automatically placed in the text box. There are several advantages of using text boxes. First, when objects are contained within a text box, they can be moved around as a single unit and placed anywhere on the card. Second, text boxes help in resizing the object on the card. We can make the objects big or small and angle them per our design choice. Third, Publisher allows us to group several text boxes into one unit, which in turn helps us in creatively aligning the graphics on our publication. You can see that each text box has a little green circular handle. This handle can be grabbed with the help of your mouse to change the alignment of the words or the object itself on your publication. Now let us see how we can personalize this card further by changing the design aspect of this pre-made template. If you choose to change the font or color of the text, you would need to right-click inside the text box. You will then see a drop-down menu with several different options to customize the text box. You can delete the text 
or you can change the existing text by selecting Change Text. By selecting the Change Text, you can keep the ex existing text but change the color, font, or sizing of the text. Similarly, let's go ahead and right-click inside the text box containing the image of the bicycle. By selecting Delete Object, we are going to delete the image of the bicycle and insert a different picture in its place. This will allow us to personalize our invitation card. For today's project, I have chosen the superheroes theme. And so let's go ahead and insert a superheroes image instead of the bicycle image. Even though the image of the bicycle has now been deleted, a new text box will automatically be inserted when a new image is inserted. Clicking on the clipart icon, I'm able to find several images of superheroes that I can choose from to insert in the card. But wait, I may have to move this Thunderbolt text box out of the way first because the image of the superheroes might cover the Thunderbolt image. As mentioned before, there is a text box around anything that is inserted on a publication. The Thunderbolt is also contained in a text box, which I can grab and move away from the publication onto the workspace. I do not want to delete the Thunderbolt image as it goes very well with the superheroes theme that I plan to use for my publication. I have now moved the Thunderbolt design onto the workspace and also inserted a superheroes image, clip art image on my publication. I quite like this image. So let's get rid of the clipart dialog box on the right side of my screen. Since our superheroes image is covering up the wording, the happy birthday wishes, we need to make some design changes here. This is where you can see how Publisher offers several choices to customize our publication. We have a choice of either reducing the size of the superhero's image or reducing the font size of the wording. I think I will go with the second option and reduce the font size of the birthday wishes. Highlight all the words and change the font size to your liking. Now all the words are visible. While we have the words highlighted, we can also choose to change the color and style of the font. We can also choose to make the words bold. Next, let us see how to uh, bring the Thunderbolt image back into our card. One option is to make a couple more copies of the Thunderbolt image and place it around the number 7. We now have three of these images and each of this image is within its own text box. So all we need to do is grab the text boxes one by one and place them around the number 7 and see if that will be a good design for our publication. All we needed to do is grab the text boxes and drag and drop them where we wanted them on the publication. We are also able to hold the green circular handle on each of those text boxes and rotate them as per our design interest. I chose to move the Thunderbolt image around number seven in this way. Now let's look at the text box that is at the very bottom. You may have guessed by now that each invitation card template comes with its own default color and font scheme. 
but if you wish to use a different color or font scheme, you can do so. Since we have a deep red theme going for our card in this project, I think I would prefer to change the color of this box to deep red as well. To change the formatting on this text box, all you have to do is right click inside the text box just like before to see this drop down menu. Select Format Text. Here we have options to change the size of the text box, the color, its layout, and most importantly, its color, the border thickness, etc. Clicking on this little arrow, we are able to see the colors that are available for us. I will go ahead and choose the dark red color because that matches our color theme. Select OK to insert that color within the text box. The wording or the announcement that is inside the text box is per the template that came with our publication. However, you're able to make any of the changes as you seem fit for the invitation. Now let's go ahead and see how the second page of this publication can be designed. There are a couple of things I need to change here. I need to change the page layout so it fits the first page. I also need to change the color scheme. Right click on the text box and select format text box. Select the dark red theme similar to the first page and hit OK. Next, grab the green circular handle and rotate the text box to make it vertical. Next, grab the corners of the text box and fit the text box to the page. Now that the text box has been expanded to fit the page, it is time to work with the design layout and size of the font. Here, I have chosen to change the line spacing. I have also chosen to change the font color selectively. I could resize the wording if I wanted to. Once we make sure that all of the elements on the cards on the card is per our liking and the information on the card is accurate, we are ready to print. Select the File tab to see a preview of your publication. This is page 1. Click on this arrow right here to see the preview of page 2. Select Print when you're sure that all design elements are met. So there you are. It is as easy as that to make a personalized invitation card using Publisher 2010. This program is, is installed on all of our public computers in the library, which you can use when in the building. Happy designing. Thank you.